artist, a very special undercover now, and for this one, we got a little bit of help from an old friend. Charismatic, powerful and handsome are just three of the words he uses to describe himself. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Simon Cowell! <laughs> Grab a seat, Si. Grab a seat. Right, Come on in. Hello. Wait. Welcome. <laughs> he can't wait. Look how excited he is. I'm really excited. <laughs> now, when we started talking about, about this series of Saturday Night Tape, we're top of our list for an undercover was Piers Morgan. Now, we said this to you, Simon, over dinner, didn't we? In um, L.A. In L.A. <laughs> Simon paid. And um, we asked if Simon knew anyone that would, could help us kind of trick Piers. And Simon's response was... Me. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> he just loves winding them up that much. Let's cross over and say a quick hello to the man himself, live from LA. It's Piers Morgan. Hi, Piers. He loves the Hollywood. Now, stuff. Piers, would it, would it be fair to say, Piers, that you and Simon, uh, you're a little competitive with each other. You're always trying to get one over on each other, right? Yes, it would be fair to say we are very competitive, yes. And that's why Simon was so keen to get involved. <laughs> so, a few <laughs> weeks ago, Simon rang up Piers and invited him over to his office for a nice cup of tea and a catch-up. Here you go, Simon, you're going to enjoy this. <laughs> Here's what happened. <laughs> From newspaper editor to TV personality and international TV host, Piers Morgan is an expert at uncovering the truth. You've never lobbed anything at Tony? No. So, trying to pull the wool over his eyes could be our toughest challenge yet. To help us, we've roped in one of the few people Piers is unlikely to suspect. His old pal, Simon Cowell. Simon has given us unprecedented access to his private office. <laughs> where we lay our trap by hiding eyes and ears in every corner of the room. Shortly, Piers will be arriving to meet Simon for a showbiz powwow. At least, that's what he thinks. But what he doesn't know is that Simon is going to involve him in the possible purchase of a groundbreaking piece of art. To make this happen, we're going to need one Eastern European art dealer. That'll be me. And a gallery security guard who's been entrusted with an overpriced piece of minimalist artwork. Oh, that'll be me. Shall we do it? Let's do it. Dex Russian art dealer is starting to look the part, but can he and Simon fool Piers into thinking they're about to embark on a genuine art deal? Now, do you know any art speak? No, but I could make up just some pretentious nonsense. That'll do. Right. To believe it, there needs to be a convincing masterpiece for sale. Enter Ant's gallery security guard with this. Black dot on white canvas. <laughs> I'm ready to speak to Simon via satellite link up all the way over in Moscow. Actually, the room next door is deck. So with our characters in place... And Simon patiently waiting the arrival of our unsuspecting victim... It's time to go undercover. Piers is in reception. Yeah, great. ready? Yeah. Piers, come in. Where is he? Your scarf and coat So I, I go downstairs and this guy goes, what's your name? <laughs> I told him to. <laughs> How are you? There was a woman there, she went, oh, does, does that have, still happen? Have I said, we put on a little bit of weight? A little bit, yeah. Yeah, how is it? I've been working hmm? like that. No exercise. <laughs> you just realised it's been... I know, I was so glad, because it's actually my day off today. Cheers, by the way. Yeah, cheers. Good nice to see, to see you, darling. And you. It's been too long. Yeah, it has been too long. Sorry to interrupt you quickly. I've got him on the line. Bear with me one second, I've got something. As Simon steps out momentarily, Piers notices the rather strange-looking painting propped up in the corner of the office. If this idiot calls, I don't want to talk to him for longer than three minutes. <laughs> and, you know, when you agree to do something, and everything goes wrong yeah. on that particular day. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, you meet these art dealers when you go out. Yeah. They've lent me that. So how much do you think that is? Jesus. Guess. What, it's obviously a lot of money. I have no idea. Oh. 500,000. Right, I mean, it's silly money. It's it? ridiculous. I mean, you and I look at that, and we, I wouldn't have known from 100 grand to 10 million. Yeah, well, this guy, apparently, he's Whether like the Serbian or Banksy or right. something. Yeah, and I would definitely do it. It's probably worth a couple of million. It could be worth, <laughs> as you say, two, two and a half. Good easy. 
Sorry to interrupt. Can I bring the computer in? Yeah, 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 just, just do it, yeah. Hello? Simon? Hello, can, can you hear me? Pleased to make your acquaintance. Nice to see you. How are you? Very busy man. Yeah, I'm always very busy. Um, I, I do like the painting. Great. Uh, how negotiable is the price? The price is the price. It's, it's a very good price for you. These, these, these works were never intended for sale. Because they are... Museum standard contemporary art. You have to. <laughs> I like it. I mean, I've lived with it. Um... Let me explain to you, Simon. This painting signifies the impermanence of life. And the inevitability of death. And how it is beyond anybody's control. Even, even yours, Simon. <laughs> Where would you see the value of this painting in, say, five years' time? Ten times what you pay. So you're saying in five or ten years' time this could be worth five million pounds? I am sure of that. Huge exclusive piece for you. Would you like to keep it for a few more days? No, no. I'm nervous about keeping it in the office. What if we were to say we take 10% off the asking price? I, I, I'm sure we can look at that. No, no, I don't want to look at it. I want to agree on it. OK, yes. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. Great to meet you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Did you believe a word of that? Well, maybe look at that. But the thing is, it's not the point, is it? You look at it. We look at that, we see white and white. <laughs> if you just paid me half a million quid for. No, 450. <laughs> no, because you can say yes. It was great. Hang on. <laughs> Girls. How long is Amelia going to be here for? She's literally just about to leave. She's got two minutes. With Piers left alone once again, how will he react when Simon's new prized possession drops in value? Um, okay, give me two seconds. Don't miss. You're painting for a Did you touch it? No, it wasn't. It? What happened with all us? No, I know it. Oh, f. You did touch it. You did touch the painting. I didn't touch your painting. <laughs> what I need to find out is what insurance we've got here. Well, to say he didn't secure it properly. <laughs> News of the accident has reached the gallery security guard. That's Ant, who comes in to inspect the damage. You did this? No. You pay. You pay, or I call police. I call police. <laughs> He's going to call the police. <laughs> With the artwork and Piers' nerves and tatters, it's time to come clean. Police are on way. Stay there, please. What have you done to my painting? What have you done? <laughs> yes! <laughs> <laughs> the police are coming. You're not getting arrested. But you are on Anthony Deck Saturday night takeaway. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Simon, I literally, I don't think I've ever seen you smile so much or enjoy something oh, so much. Oh, God, just watching him pretending he knew about art. Yeah, it's worth £3 million. <laughs> <laughs> it's a black dot on a piece of white paper. <laughs> the art expert. <laughs> oh, Piers, are you, uh, are you plotting revenge on us now? Well, the reason I fell for it... The, re the reason I fell for it was that Simon has got, as you know, very many paintings just like that in his mansion. <laughs> so it seemed perfectly plausible to me. <laughs> <laughs> well, he did get... And he's very good, isn't he, Piers? How good was Simon? He was very good. And you guys, I thought going for a disguise where you both looked a lot better looking and younger was really <laughs> smart. <laughs> now, Piers, even after you've said that, we know it's your birthday today, so we've got your birthday cake. Bring it in. Bring it in. This birthday cake <laughs> is called... Black oh, on a... white icing. <laughs> it's my favourite. <laughs> Give it a big hand, Piers Morgan, everybody. Thanks, guys. Really enjoyed it. Lovely birthday present. Happy birthday. <laughs> oh, we had so much fun filming that, Simon.
Who's next on our hit list? Who should we do, the three of us? I think we need another dinner in L.A. and let's cook something up together. Yes. I've got someone in mind. You do? Yeah. I can't yes. really hear more about it. Let's hear it one more time for the brilliant... Mr Sam and Cowell, everybody! <laughs>